Hey y'all. So today I wanted to film a super easy keto or low carb meal prep. So all the recipes that I'm going to use are super simple or easy to throw together and really take no time at all. I am going to show y'all what I grab at the grocery store, how I throw together the recipes that I plan on making, and how it's going to come together for the week. So in exactly three weeks, I actually have to be in a bikini and look nice on camera. And I am far from where I want to be. So the next 21 days, I am going to be really hammering down on my nutrition, my diet, my cardio, my lifting to try and expedite some of these changes that I need to make. So this little meal prep is kind of me just holding myself accountable and having food because this past weekend, 100% totally fell off the keto diet. I was with family and we were at a rented lake house in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And I was surrounded by so much temptation after so much stress that I caved. So now it's all about getting back on the keto wagon and just moving forward from here because you know what every once in a while we do fall off and and i'm not afraid to admit it because i am not perfect the past week and a half has been literal hell so i'm sorry for my lack of uploading but now i plan on doing a lot of daily vlogs between now and this little thing I am doing in three weeks. So I hope that y'all enjoy. Let me know down below if there's anything y'all wanna see. I'm gonna see if I can find someone to help me record my workouts. May or may not happen, but I'm going to try. Without further ado, let's go to the HEB, pick up some groceries so that I can get this meal prep started. There's Bo. There's a bow. What's up, bow? No video is complete without a bow. Are you not the most adorable dog there ever was? Are you not the most adorable dog there ever was? <laughs> Ooh. I started off my meal prep by preheating my oven to 400 degrees because I was going to roast my broccoli first. So I bought two bags of broccoli at the grocery store, but stupid me didn't realize that there was already two in the fridge. So we're just making a crap load of broccoli. What I did was dump two bags at a time into this green bowl that you see and then I added four tablespoons of olive oil as well as some seasoned salt, some garlic salt, and some pepper. Mixed it all together and then dumped it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it is nice and roasted and crispy and taste so delicious. It took all of just a few minutes and all you do is just stick them in the oven to roast until they're your level of doneness. Next I am going to show you how I am making my breakfast for the week which is an asparagus chicken and cheese 
egg casserole. It is my favorite. It tastes so good. What you're going to do is break 12 eggs into a bowl. And I scrambled them up with some salt and pepper. This is a really simple breakfast casserole to assemble. So what I'm going to do is add one can of asparagus spears to the bottom of a greased baking sheet. I grabbed a fork and kind of just mashed the asparagus down so that it was in the bottom of the baking dish. Next up, I added five ounces of shredded rotisserie chicken. I actually took the easy way out and bought this pulled rotisserie chicken from a local Mexican restaurant to save me some time. Next up, we're just going to pour those 12 scrambled eggs straight into the baking dish. Last, but certainly not least, I added four servings of shredded cheese to the casserole. Lastly, I just grabbed a fork and mixed everything all together before I stuck it in the oven. The cooking times will vary, but I cooked mine at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. It took a little longer because this was such a deep baking dish. The last thing I wanted to throw together was just cooking this large amount of ground beef. If I have this in a package in my fridge, it'll take me forever to cook it. But if I just cook it all at one time and have it where I can grab it, it makes it so much easier. I seasoned it with some garlic salt, some pink salt, as well as some pepper, and then just cooked it until it was done. Since I am studying meat science, I did want to take a moment to remind you that if you ever touch any sort of raw meat, the next step you need to do is go to the sink and thoroughly wash your hands. No matter what you do, don't go touch a vegetable. Go wash your hands anytime you touch raw meat. You don't want to spread that bacteria or whatever. Just wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. My egg casserole just came out of the oven and it looks so good. It took about 35 to 40 minutes to cook, probably because I have it in a container where it's relatively deep. I've got my very large container of roasted broccoli and just a big container of 80-20 ground beef. So just having essentials like this that I can grab for my vegetables each day or some of my protein or my breakfast, it makes my meals so much more simple. So for my lunch each day, I plan on using some of this 80-20 ground beef, but going to spruce it up with a little bit of my spinach. some of my shredded lettuce. I have some avocados under all of this jello that I can throw on my salad as well. I can either throw on some mayonnaise or some of my Bolt House Classic Ranch yogurt dressing. With my broccoli, I plan on just throwing one of these sausages in the toaster oven to get it nice and hot and heat up some broccoli to go along with it. Oh well. This meal prep is all about making my meals simple. So I didn't meal prep all of my food. Like I don't like to weigh out and measure my salad or stuff. But knowing that I can just grab my meat that's already cooked, grab my bag of spinach, my lettuce, and just start tossing it all into a bowl together makes my life so much easier. I hope that y'all enjoyed that little look into my keto or low carb meal prep. What I wanna stress on is that meal prep doesn't have to take all day. It doesn't have to be difficult. Like, I threw those broccoli, tossed them in olive oil, threw them in a pan, and then I had my vegetables cooked for the week. I was able to make that breakfast casserole that I'm going to split into four servings. 
my breakfast is done for the week. I made that big old pile of ground beef. So now my protein is done for the week and I just need to throw that together with my lettuce to make a really good salad. With those recipes and just those simple ingredients, it just makes my life so much more simple to not have to think about what I'm eating next. It's already sitting in the fridge ready for me to scarf down. I did unfortunately have a casualty while cooking broccoli. I got me a nice burn on my wrist, you know, because I accidentally touched the oven when it was 400 degrees. Good job, cat. Good job. But anyways, I'm excited that I have I have my food all made for the next couple of days. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to focus on school and my tests and just don't have to worry because I have eaten fast food the past two days because I have had no food in my fridge. So the fact that I know that I'm not going to have to go find food makes my life so much more easy. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this meal prep video. If you'd like to see more ways and other foods that I meal prep for the week, let me know down below and I will start trying to do more meal prep videos, especially because I'm going to be traveling a lot, I am going to be meal prepping a lot more. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.